Hi, Dennis. I needed to touch base with you. I've got four issues. The first issue is the estate tax that's owed 10% of the estate tax since 1975. I believe Paul Goodman can administrate for 15% of the revenue from that, leaving me half and sending 35% back his charity to the executors of the payers. So there's executors who have paid for somebody's estate tax. They're the ones that receive 35% of the 10%. Uh, Paul Goodman will receive 15% of the 10%, and I'm supposed to receive half of the 10% of the estate tax that people have paid since 1975 in all nations, except for Israel, Great Britain, and the United States. So that's my minute on that. You can get it from the book patent of the Great British, the Great Britain Patent Office has a book called the Holy Bible book patent. And so we're looking for them to look up the Holy Bible book patent and see that Reverend Penn Stale signed my signature and that I am a descendant of Jesus Christ and I am the true grandson named in Woodrow Wilson's presidential executive order to give 10% of the estate tax globally to me. So please help out with that. The second thing, uh, the SEC case, I expect to win for $27 million. I need to know when that's happening, uh, when we should be able to win that $27 million. I was only expecting $5 million, so to get $27 million is pretty sweet. Uh, but I don't know what he's saying. I hope it doesn't damage my reputation. And I'm sure there's nothing you can do that does that. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm... Looking forward to that third thing. Uh, third thing. I need to sue Fidelity Investments for 1.6 Sassitonian plus restitution. And the restitution includes 50.55337% APR for six years, split half into Bitcoin to 15 decimals of zeros in the tank. And then the other half grows to like 175 quintillion dollars and the other half grows to 10 to the 38 bitcoins. And 10 to the 38 bitcoins is worth 10 to the 40th. Uh, and the estate tax, I'm expecting to collect 300 trillion. Uh, in June 2020, estate tax was 2,999 trillion against the offending nations. I'm supposed to collect 300 trillion. And so, uh, yeah, last problem. Uh, World Cup advisor used me the entire time I was employed by them. And uh, they're guilty of stealing inside information and using it for profit without paying me. So they used my algorithm on 6,000, 6,000 to start, 10,000 sometimes, but we need to charge them $250 monthly for these recoveries. And I wanted restitution at 25% is what I feel is fair to offer to Robbins Trading Company. But I filed the report with the CFTC. I'm hoping they're taking care of something but we have to sue Robin's Trading Company. Basically, they were trading $6,250 a month units of mine for 30 months, and for 18 months, they were trading $12,500 a month units. So that's how much money I need to recover from World Cup Advisor, and each month needs to compound at 25% annually until today to compute the restitutional claim. Uh, and yeah, so Fidelity, World Cup, uh, estate tax, and the SEC, and I believe that covers the four issues I had. Um, Fidelity Investments is not going to be hard to win. They're just going to look at what trades I did 
and immediately telling you yes or no, and eventually, essentially, they're going to tell you yes. You made 1.6 sestillion dollars. So you're a lawyer, you're gonna be able to see the actual share amounts that I traded. I'm only guessing on my share amounts. My share amounts, I guess, I made 1.6 sestillion. That's about $12 trillion of 86,000 in uh, one day. So in August 2003, we needed to recover that and get it back with restitution and we need to bankrupt Fidelity Investments to do it. Uh, so the estate tax at 10%, you just gotta show the British Chamber of Commerce Patent Office that I am the owner of the book patent, the Holy Bible and we'll be able to claim 40% of all sales of Holy Bibles and 10% of the estate tax since 1975 against all nations, except for Israel, Great Britain, and the US. So every nation is supposed to send me 10% of the estate tax at the beginning of the first of the year. And if they don't, they're not allowed to be United Nations charter holders and they're not allowed to be a nation that receives any type of benefit from the rest of the world. So I'm about to receive 246 billion of my estate tax and I was just going to tell you which nations that was for and uh, I'm looking forward to spending some of that. Uh, but because they're basically coming to me without the necessary paperwork, I can't give them back the 35% of the estate tax, which I hope they don't force on me. But really, it's at my option to issue 35% of my 10% estate tax back to the people. I just figure that 15% of administrative costs is to find even the executors of my estate tax. So what I'm trying to do globally since 1975 is find all executors, count up all the money they paid and give them back 35% of what they pay in estate tax on 10% of the estate tax. Give them back 35% of 10% of the estate tax. And that was supposed to promote Methodist Christianity and Mexiology which is next theological Methodism. And uh, for me, if you could tell me when we're going to win every one of these cases, I know in September, we're going to win the Bitcoin case, but that's September. I'm just trying to figure out if there's any money coming to me before September. So, uh, Bitcoin, we're gonna win hands down. And I gotta tell Paul Goodman about one of these things with Satoshi uh, during one of my raids against people who were invading my privacy and stalking me online. Uh, we discovered a computer that contained 360 zeros of Bitcoins that had been laundered. So we have to return 360 zeros of Bitcoins back to the people that use the blockchain and weren't given Bitcoins. Around 59 trillion Bitcoins were ripped off by Dave Williams. Uh, Dave Williams is a trader who stole my strategy and invested 10 of the 200 made 10 to the 400 and one of his associates, I'm told it's Bill Gates, also invested 10 to the 200 and made 10 to the 500. They owed 50% of their profit if I'm gonna sell with them. And if they make me fight, if they make me not receive anything for my performance, I'm just gonna disgorge 100% of their profit. But trying to offer them a 50% settlement and that can be handled to the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, you can speak directly to him about this computer, but it's a computer that's basically a bank with more than a thousand zeros of cash on it. And so most of the cash I earned and they ripped off 
from Bitcoin. I earn them 10 to the 400, 10 to the 500, or 10 to the 900, of 10 to the 400. They're trading very conservatively, about 16% of equity, trading every signal. And so, uh, yeah, that's 10 to the 900. I get one 450 zeros back, and I'd also like to help us deliver 360 zeros of Bitcoins back to their owners. There apparently was a flaw in Bitcoin, which allowed Bitcoins to be scuttled before receiving money. Like people would say, I have X and X many Bitcoins to offer. Can you pay me? And so go out, find the money, give them the money. And then the person would just like turn off they are offered to receive Bitcoin back. And so uh, with all that in mind, Dennis, uh, we have legal stuff, but I just want to know when I'll get paid from all these things. And otherwise we've got fantastic revenue opportunities from this discovery that the Federal Reserve made by my ex-wife who was on death row for impersonating a female uh, and marrying somebody. Uh, that's the death penalty. Uh, she's who's related to this person, Larry Williams. And so Larry Williams stole 360 zeros of Bitcoins somehow by receiving all the money from a Bitcoin, but not delivering any Bitcoin all the while having 10 to the 400 in profit to show from trades that he actually made using my QID, QL, me scalper is the most advanced version you might have had. But anyway, Dennis, uh, that's a new story. I haven't told you about that, but yeah, Larry Williams stole 10 to the 400 for me personally, made 10 to the 900 of Perzarb uh, I want half of that. I want 10 to the 450 from them. Uh, 10 to 200 from Larry and 10 to the 250 from Bill Gates. Uh, or whoever is responsible for that other 10 to the 500. I don't know if it's Bill Gates, but I suspect that it is. And so they were able to rip off 360 zeros of Bitcoin, 3.6 Google Plex of Bitcoin value and so they would pretend like they were selling bitcoin they'd receive the money and then they'd close the flaw so that it couldn't ask them for any money even though they received it and so we're going to have satoshi nakamoto find a way to identify those flaws because it's like 59 trillion bitcoins were actually sold not just the one <laughs> Trillion that shows outstanding, and even with mine, would make the Bitcoin flow 1.97 trillion. And so, what we're going to try to do is identify a way to make the 360 zeros of Bitcoins put back into the wallets that they deserve. And even if that means expanding the Bitcoin flow, expanding Bitcoin is highly advised. One trillion Bitcoins is not enough nodes. And so with Satoshi, Digital Satoshi Solutions is what I wanted to use to intermediate the 80% of revenue going to me as Coim LGP and 20% of the revenue going to him, which I have explained that uh, the reason for digital Satoshi solutions is to create a pathway that he can point to, to collect on his sale of all his patents. We're working right now to sell his patents using Microsoft H key reference guides such that we're collecting H key references from Satoshi and Satoshi is entering the H key references so that when he sends the flash drive with the Bitcoin technologies on them, 
They can only open on that computer. We can ensure that. And we can also turn it off once the auction is over with. So uh, the auction should be between 20 and $50 trillion, bro. Uh, this digital Satoshi solutions crap. And so I spent most of this morning selling F-32 and UH-72 aircraft, including an upgrade for F-35s of the avionics of the F-32. The avionics of the F-32 that Satoshi designed is just so much better. Able to lock on to 60 simultaneous targets, engage eight, or engage multiple with multiple airway. So it's a superior avionics system. And that is what I had to share. Dennis, please get back to me on all these. Yeah, guys, that's my life. And so I talked about the Bitcoins I'm getting, the fact that there were 59 trillion Bitcoins sold, outstanding, and that we're going to return all of them. We're going to figure out what broker paid what amount and try to match each person's order to what's in the system. We probably can figure out who they were trying to sell to, but I'm not sure if it even identified who the buyers of their Bitcoins were. If they didn't identify buyers and were just piking money the way Larry Williams seems to have, he kept 10 to the 400 on one side of my pair's arm and he kept 10 to the 360 in Bitcoin stolen value on the other side. So he was clearly structuring and that is news. Uh, well, Larry Williams is really uh, still outstanding in the public. Uh, I don't know, but he stole 10 to the 360 in value of Bitcoins by simply using hash, 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 hash. Give me Bitcoin, don't give any Bitcoin back, just give me the money for it, is basically what this flaw was. And you could open it as a developer, and only two individuals actually knew about this. So this isn't something that you can just hack and figure out how to do. It was just something that the person who wrote the blockchain knew about and happened to show to scrupulous individuals. So, when I'm explaining what's going on to me, I know there's a lot of details left out, but that is the primary detail, is that we'll collect 40% of that 360 zero value because we're able to return the Bitcoins to the people who bought them. And if they're returned, they're recovered. And all we have to do is put them into the correct uh, Bitcoin wallet. And that's the gist. I'm collecting 10% of the estate tax from all nations except U.S., Great Britain, and Israel. I'm supposed to receive 10% of the estate tax and give back half. I'm only going to be able to give back 35% because 15% is used to administrate. And that is something I hope I don't really have to fight over. That's something that should have been happening for the longest time already. And so when I talk about these things, the SEC is probably going to be 16 million, not 27 million. That's for an infraction of failure to regulate by the SEC and my SPS FX fund. And I'm planning on matching all investors over a trillion dollars who invest over a trillion dollars. I'll match them in SPS FX. And you can just trust that that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I mentioned Fidelity Investments. Yeah, they stole 1.6 Sestillion. They think they get out on technicality. They will not. They violated my civil rights. And stole 1.6 Sestillion that I made in one day off $86,000. 1.6 Sestillion is 1.6 Sestillion, 0 quintillion, 0 quadrillion, 0 trillion, 0 billion. That's the sequence. 
And I appreciate you guys taking the time to visit with me. Uh, and yeah, the estate tax. The estate tax is really fun. I found out about it in seventh and eighth grade when I discovered that I was at age eight related to Jesus Christ directly. And when I found out in seventh and eighth grade how many men and women I had lost in World War II or World War I in Vietnam, I got a little upset. About 55 million of my family members were killed during those three wars. So I'm lucky to be alive is how I feel, and I'm glad to be alive. So when I talk about my amounts, uh, the 10 to the 40th, in Bitcoin value is really what's at stake in the Fidelity Investments lawsuit. I don't really care about the cash compared to how much I've made in Bitcoin. I've made about 175 quintillion in cash versus 10 to the 38 Bitcoins owed, owned, and 10 to the 40th is how much Bitcoins is from the restitution of Fidelity Investments. Mostly it is Bitcoin, but I still made 50.55337% by forensic accountants at the Supreme Court. So I appreciate the calculations, guys. And I should be able to have a pretty nice life here in a few months. I'm expecting to have my first $10 million in three or four weeks. And that's coming from the SEC, which is a lawsuit we started the year with and haven't added to, so. What's the legal problems? I feel like I'm being corporately hazed in a corporate credit way that's justifiable to some people, but really it's unjust. Having to justify what I'm doing to a judge and explain that these people stole money from me, uh, I wish people were just more ethical and honest and admitted when you made money for them and would pay you. So Larry Williams invested 10 to the 400 with he and some other person and made 10 to the 900. So I'm asking for 50% of that. That's 10 to the 450. No one needs more. And if they fight, I'll discourage 100% of it. So they really don't get any option to say no. I'm just going to get 50% of 10 to the 900, which is 10 to the 450. And we discovered that the people that were doing that were doing it on a Cray banking supercomputer, which has more than a thousand zeros of cash on it. And so it's a computer that only handles financial transactions and it's got more than 1,200 zeros of value in the Cray. And so the Federal Reserve is informing me that they are handling this issue, but that I still have to at least file a court case to make the claim, and they'll handle it from there. So what's the issue is the 360 zeros of Bitcoins being laundered is how much interest there really was in Bitcoin. It was 59 trillion Bitcoins should have been sold, not just 1 trillion. And that's how many did sell. They were just piked. They were piked by Larry Williams and his software of hash, 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 hash. Give me money for Bitcoin. Don't give any back. Shut down. And that is essentially the pike that the Bitcoin blockchain that we have today would look a lot different had these additional monies been part of the blockchain and had Satoshi really accounted for every single one of his Bitcoins in the node, we'd have maybe better technology today had he done that. But no blaming Satoshi. DSS is basically what I do. We'll be selling all the Bitcoin blockchain technologies shortly. What we're doing is putting them on flash drives with H key references to the computers that are going on. And so we're soliciting with IBM, Intel, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, uh, Nvidia, maybe Netflix, uh, but all those companies are tech giants 
and we want them to be successful with our 25% royalty request. Even if they are paying for the patents, they have to pay for the patents and pay us 25% royalty, of which I'm getting 80% of DSS's revenue and Satoshi's getting 20%, essentially. 85% less than those amounts. So I'll get 75, Satoshi will get 20 or 15, and uh, we've got one extra investor in Digital Satoshi Solutions, that's DSS, and we'll be issuing flash drives to NASDAQ 100 companies and maybe GE uh, and Chase Bank are the only two I can think of besides tank giants to sell to. And so we're planning a reverse silent double dutch auction of all the Bitcoin blockchain technologies that have been developed since August 2009. We're in 2022. So about 13 years of 10 patents a day is being sold between 5 to 25 trillion dollars expected 10 to 50 trillion dollars is the sale price we're expecting i know i'm talking soft but it pays to talk soft when it's that much money and you've got 30 percent sale markup on the line that's what's going on if someone paid 50 trillion i get 15 trillion 50 versus 15 yeah that is essentially what's going on. The estate tax is something that I'm entitled to as Jesus Christ's grandson, who is named by Woodrow Wilson in a presidential executive order to give 10% of the estate tax to Jesus Christ's grandson. And even though I wasn't born at the time, I know some of my other family members tried to claim these monies and they were not allowed to because they couldn't show that they were grandchildren, even though grandchildren they knew existed. And so my grandmother on my mother's side was that person that was related to John Pulitzer. And she told me basically at age seven to look up all my family members, and I did. And there's Jesus Christ, Joseph Arimathea, and David, and Abraham, all my favorites, I guess. And uh, they're my family, and I'm entitled to 10% of the estate tax for what happened in World War I, World War II, and Vietnam. Then I lost 55 million people of my own family. Now, whether they're my own family or not, they weren't related. I lost 55 million people in those three wars. That I'd be a lot more famous if I still had those 55 million people, and the America would be a lot more prosperous. <clears throat> so with that in mind, I guess I'm going to talk for a couple more minutes and discuss other things. Uh, all these lawsuits really tick me off that I have to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Even though I already know what the verdict's going to be, uh, I feel like just out of respect for the court system, I should just be quiet and just wait. So that's what I'm doing. Thanks for listening.